Hello students, in today's video we shall discuss question number 10 of exercise 2.4. Factorize each of the following. There are two parts to this question. First one is 27y cubed plus 125z cubed. For this the identity that we are going to use is x cubed plus y cubed is equal to x plus y into x squared minus xy plus y squared. This is not given as an identity in the textbook. This is given as a verification question. Question number 9 if you see the previous question you will find this formula there. So we will use this formula to solve this problem. Now 27y cubed we can write as 3y the whole cubed. 3 into 3 into 3 is 27. So that's 27y cubed plus 125 is a cube of 5. So 5z the whole cubed. Now we will write it in this form. So here x is 3y, y is 5z. So then 3y plus 5z multiplied by 3y squared minus xy 3y into 5z plus 5z the whole squared bracket closed this will remain as it is 3y plus 5z here 3y squared so 3 3's are 9 y squared minus 3 into 5 is 15 15 y z plus 5 5 is 25 so 25 z squared or we can write it as 3 y plus 5 z and then the y squared and the z squared we will arrange it like 9 y squared plus 25z squared minus 15yz and that's the answer for the first one. Second one 64m cubed minus 343n cubed here we will use the formula of x cubed minus y cubed again this is from your previous question question number 9 equals to x minus y into x squared plus xy plus y squared. 64 is 4 into 4 into 4. That is 64. And 343 is 7 into 7 into 7. So this we will rewrite as 4m the whole cubed minus 7n the whole cubed. And now we will use this formula. Here x is 4m, y is 7n. So x minus y. 4m minus 7n. And then x squared. So 4m the whole squared plus 4m into 7n plus 7n the whole squared. Bracket closed equals to 4m minus 7n remains as it is. This bracket 4 4 is a 16. 16m squared plus 4 into 7 is 28. 28mn plus 7 7 is a 49. 49n squared. And we will just rearrange the terms for the second part. 4m minus 7n and m squared and n squared terms we will write like this 16m squared plus 49n squared plus 28mn and that stands for the second one. With this we complete question number 10. In the next video we shall do question number 11. Thank you.